Greetings challengers, we've got another challenge for you today. Now, yesterday we talked a little bit about permanence, how getting something for someone or doing something for someone while they're not around shows that you were thinking of them and gives them a feeling of permanence, like they're permanently a part of your life. Well, we're going to talk about things from the other angle of permanence, and that is having you be permanent to another person. And I apologize in advance because this is the first time that my challenges will involve a mandatory budget because you are going to have to go out and get yourself one of these. And for those of you who have been around for the last 20 years or so, you will know what this object is. For those of you who haven't, you might not be as familiar with them. This is called an envelope. And on envelopes, you will oftentimes put stamps in order for them to go through something called the mail. Now, your challenge for today is to pick someone who is important to you and send them a letter. The reason for that being, we want to show that we care beyond the degree of just pulling up an email, typing and hitting send. In order to send a letter to someone, you have to think it out ahead of time and you have to write out what you're going to say and at the end of it the person has a physical object something that they can hold on to that is physical evidence that they have people who care about them sometimes a letter can be the most meaningful thing in the world sometimes it can be the difference between feeling like you have a good friend and feeling like you have a great friend I actually got a letter from one of my campers uh, from last summer. It was the only letter that I got. And a bunch of other counselors talk about how they get multiple letters from campers throughout the summer. I only got one. But it was from the camper who I had the most challenge in counseling. Dear Paul, Thank you for having me as a camper with you, and thank you for being my counselor. It was fun being a trailblazer. Thank you so much. And then he signed it at the bottom. It didn't really say anything groundbreaking, but after the first couple days thinking that this child's going to hate me for actually trying to be a disciplining figure, you know, actually trying to keep him in line when all he wanted to do was everything that we didn't want them to do, I thought this child was going to hate me, but he's the only one who took the time to write me, and I still need to write him back. So for once, I am really going to do this challenge along with you guys. A lot of times I just consider the fact that I'm still continuing this series to be my challenge, because it is challenging. I, I have difficulty staying on top of things like this, and so this whole series is a challenge for me. But today, this is a challenge that I really need to take along with you guys. So that's all I have for you. Feel free to post comments and video responses encouraging me to participate this time uh, because I will probably find ways to procrastinate it, but I'm hoping not to and this is something that is really meaningful to me and I really hope to actually follow through on. So. Feel free to post comments encouraging one another, sharing where it is that you uh, got inspiration for your letter, who it was that you sent it to, why you chose that person, and um, feel, feel free to subscribe and tell all your friends, and I hope that you have a challenging day. P.S. Booyah.